Hey guys, so I want to talk a little bit about rotation. Obviously, rotation is a hot topic and it's for good cause because it's a really important part you know, of the swing, solid contact, hitting the ball farther and everything. Um, you know, recently online I've been watching a bunch of different people and there's a ton of different rotation drills out there and I came across one that I think is the best rotation drill I've ever seen. I didn't come up with it, I've seen a bunch of different people use it. I wanted to do a video on it just to make sure you guys have seen it if you haven't already. Uh, something you could definitely put into your practice that helps me. Um, I've used it with people and it helps a lot, so I want to show you guys. So, here's the deal. I took an alignment rod, and the alignment rod goes through uh, the belt loops on your pants. <clears throat> now, when you put this in, you want to make sure the edge of the alignment rod doesn't stick out to the right so you don't hit yourself. So, like, the whole alignment rod should be to the left of your, of your body here, and the right edge of it shouldn't be sticking out to the right. So, throw that in your belt loops. Alignment rod, pretty simple. Now, here's the goal with it. You know, at impact, if we look at better players, obviously there's a correlation with how open their body is and how well they strike the ball, how far they hit it, how good they are. It's a huge correlation there. Typically, in terms of like the hips themselves, we'd be looking for something along the lines of maybe 45 degrees as a simple ballpark average of how far open should you actually be at impact. Just a snapshot of a moment in time. What I feel and found works really good with this as a visual, and some guys will put like an object back here that you actually try and hit with it, and that works great. Um, my feel with this is from the top, I'm trying to get the alignment rod perfectly in line or fully turned um, with the golf ball. So I'm trying to make it, if there's an extension, I'm trying to make it look like this. So I'm trying to over-exaggerate this sort of 45 degree angle, I'm trying to get it all the way open. Now obviously I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna get that far, but my feeling of getting that far open for me puts me in a nice middle ground. And for whatever reason, I don't know why it is, but it works. This as a visual in the field works really good. So whatever, it works good. So I'm gonna demonstrate one here. Um, so I'll have this in here. You can do this with any different club you want. And I'll kind of just pre-pose a feel where I'm trying to get that almost fully rotated by impact. And then when I actually hit, what I feel is I get to the top of my backswing and my first move from the top of my backswing before my arms and hands go or the club is to make this point left or get to that spot that I talked about. That's the first feel. So from the down the line view with this rotation drill, you know, visually, I'm still trying to get that you know, look from this direction of having my hips and my torso open as much as I can. So this should be pointed almost straight to the left as my feel. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate one. I kind of like that, uh, you know, get a feel of the opening first. And then again, right from the top of my backswing, before anything else goes, I'm trying to get that rod to get as far left as I can, basically as soon as I can. You know, something I think with the rotation, people confuse more rotation with rotating faster versus sooner, you know? So there's an element of um, sequence that's important. I don't necessarily, when I say I want you to rotate more, mean go to the top and whip your body open as fast as you can. I don't mean that. I mean relative to where the other segments of your body are at, mainly your hands and the arms and club, I want you to be open sooner relative to those two things. Those are a little bit of a difference there between those two. So, normal setup, try and get myself open. It's easier for me if I take my left hand off. I'll go back on and get that left right from the top. Good. And that for me, someone who doesn't rotate all that well, feels like I'm way more open. Now, obviously when I watch it on video, I'll be somewhere in between the two and that's fine. Um, so give this one a try, use this Put it through the belt loops, remember all of it to the left. Try and get as open as you can during the downswing if you're someone who struggles with rotation. So hopefully that helps, and again, leave us a comment below. Let us know how you do.